What is going on guys, I'm Adriano and this video is about how to add an RDS data source in AWS Glue. You might be excited to impress everyone with your ETL skills in AWS Glue Studio. You click to add a new node, you select that node, you see JDBC because your data is in an RDS. And now when you go to add your database, what do you see? You see no database, you see no tables, and you don't know what to do. Don't worry, this video we're going to walk you through exactly what to do. So we're going to head over first to the Glue catalog. And first things first, we're going to add a new database. So this is a, really a way of organizing all of our tables in AWS Glue. And the data that I have already created here, I have an RDS Postgres database that contains customers and department information. So this is all dummy data, not to worry, you're not seeing any PII. And we're going to just call it customer analytics. And I like to give a description. So data related to customers of my fake analytic company. All right. And I'm just going to create that. And next we're going to add our Postgres database connection in connections. So we're going to go to add a connection. And it's going to say, what's the connection name? I'm just going to call it uh, Postgres customers. And it's going to ask, okay, what is the connection type here? Um, and now we're going to go to Amazon RDS. And why Amazon RDS? So I did spin up this database using the Amazon RDS service. So when I go back to my console here, it's going to say, okay, what's the uh, engine we want to use? And I'm going to choose Postgres. Um, and I'm just going to add a description. This is a connection to my Postgres database. Okay. Now, if I hit next, now it's going to say choose that instance. So when I go from the drop down, it automatically recognizes that my instance that I have, and that is the correct one. And now I'm just going to add the database name here. And so how do I find that? Well, if I go back into my database, I can see that the database is called customer. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to add customer and now it wants the username and password. So this is the Postgres username and password that has read permissions to that database. So you're going to add that username and password and then hit next. Now it's going to review the connection properties with you. Uh, one thing I one thing that's important to mention here is if your RDS database is in a VPC, you have to make sure that you add a VPC endpoint to your database. So if you go to VPCs, you go to endpoints, you want to make sure that you add a VPC endpoint to the S3 service. All right, so I'm just going to hit finish. So once you see that connection, you definitely want to test it just to make sure it works. So I'm going to then select the I am role that has access to test that connection. All right, if your database connection was successful, you should see a nice message saying your database name connected successfully to your instance. Okay, so now we can configure those tables in our database. So we're going to go to the crawler section in AWS Glue. And we're going to add a new crawler. And what this crawler is going to do is it's going to connect to that data store and pull any tables out that meet our criteria. And we're going to give the crawler a name. So I'm just going to call it Postgres underscore customers. And now it's asking, you know, where is it coming from? And at my uh, crawler source type, you're going to leave it as data source. And we're going to ignore this because um, the data is not coming from S3. All right, so now you're going to have to choose the data store and we're going to select JDBC connection. And now when we select that, we should now see our new Postgres uh, customer table that we just created. And now it says included path. So, you know, what does this mean here is this is the tables that we want to crawl through. So you could actually uh, let it crawl through your entire database or you can limit it to specific schemas or tables. So in my case, I want to just limit it to my two tables here um, in my customer database under the public schema. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a database called customer and now the schema is public and then I'm going to provide a percentage. So what this percentage does is gives me all tables that match the customer database and the public schema. 
And if you wanted to exclude specific tables, you know, you could add that in the exclude pattern here. I'm just going to select next. And do you want to add another data store? I'm going to say no. And now finally, what is the IAM permission that will be running that crawler? And create a schedule for this crawler. I'm just going to leave it to run on demand. And now it's saying, okay, where are the tables going to be outputted for this crawler? Remember that database we created in AWS Glue catalog. So we're just going to add that. If we wanted to add any prefix to the table, we could add it here. Now under configuration options, we can change the behavior of the crawler. So uh, when the crawler detects schema changes in the data store, how should AWS Glue handle table updates in the data catalog? Um, so if we leave it here, it's going to update table definition in the catalog, or we can just ignore changes and don't update the table in the catalog. I'm going to leave it to update table definition in the catalog. If we want to update all new and existing partitions with metadata, I'm going to leave it unchecked. And then here, okay, how should AWS Glue handle deleted objects in the data store? So let's say maybe I, I delete a table in the database. Well, how do we want the AWS Glue to handle it? I'm going to leave it to mark as table as deprecated in the data catalog. So we know that maybe, you know, that data doesn't exist in our database anymore. All right. And then we'll finally see all our parameters and it looks good. I'm just going to hit finish. And now we're going to test that crawler, make sure that works. And if it was successful, we're going to see two tables being added here. So I'm just going to go run the crawler. It might take two minutes to run. All right, our crawler has stopped. Right now you see our crawler is actually added to tables, so that was successful. So now if I go to databases here, I click on my database and I go to tables and customer analytics. What do you know? We see our two tables now added. So if I click on it, it's actually gonna give us that same schema. So it, the crawlers went into the database and pulled the schema out and now we can see that information which is great. So everything looks good. Both tables have the information that I expected. Now, if we go back to AWS Glue Studio here, and I'm just going to refresh this. All right. So now if I go to add um, data source JDBC here, um, I go to data source. Now I go to customer analytics. And what do you know? We see our two tables and now we can bring our data in and create that ETL job that's going to impress everybody. All right, so I now hope you know how to set up an RDS database connection for AWS Glue. I hope this video was helpful and please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video tutorial on AWS Glue. See you next time.